This is the Equid E-Commerce Show with your host, Jesse Ness, along with Richard Ote. What's going on, Richie? Hey, Jess. We are back. Back again with another like hot tips, hot off the press. Speaking of hot off the press, it looks like you're wearing one of those old press shirts. You got uh, old school Equid going. You're trying to sneak the last couple in before the official name change. Yeah, Richie, I'm feeling nostalgic here. I don't know how long we have, but eventually it's going to be light speed. So I need to start, you know, improving my swag here. I think I've seen Tim with a light speed logoed hat. I'm part of the project that's starting to move things over to the light speed hq.com website so a little shout out to our future url just kind of prep everybody knowing that change is coming but yeah probably have a few months left here i don't know well and also to keep people at ease change for the better there's a big team behind you guys now as amazing as equid was there's a lot of man woman human power behind equid now which will be eventually lightspeed commerce it sounds like right I won't play around in the branding arena here, but yeah, like, you know, I'm very proud of everything we did at Equid. We had, you know, 200, 250 people and now Lightspeed itself, I, th I think is well over 2000. So all that extra power is going to bleed into the product. I can't say everything, but I've seen some things that are coming that are really going to up level all the abilities for all our merchants. So it's all coming. Just FYI, if you saw this announcement, you know, many months ago about Lightspeed bought Equid. Yeah, it's still going, but these things take time to make sure everything is nice and seamless for the merchants. So it's coming. We'll eventually have different shirts on, hats, backgrounds, and, and up level the podcast too. Love it. Speaking of keeping up to speed and keeping up to date, there was an announcement about Performance Max in November of 2021. And we just wanted to let people know what's been going on, a little bit of the feedback from the beta testers. Yeah, Richie, like there's this. There's sort of a little buzz going on about this thing called Performance Max. So Google always has new announcements, by the way. There's podcasts that just reference the latest buzz from Google, and some of those don't make it, right? But this one did make it. So if you haven't heard about Performance Max yet, now you have. You're welcome. We're going to get you up to speed. Make sure your store is ready. Make sure your campaigns are ready. I think this is particularly good for people that do their own Google advertising or for people that are looking for trying to get ahead of the competition, do the latest and greatest thing. So I'm excited to share this with you. I don't have all the details. We're not going to do how to, but in general, we all know that Google knows a lot about you. So just to put a number on it, apparently every person Google knows 72 million different attributes about each and every person out there. I can tell you from a marketer, it's awesome because Google knows what people are going to buy before they even know it. You know this just from using your phone, using the internet. You're like, wow, how did they know I was interested in this particular product, right? So I think we all know this, but there's this new product is going to take all that data and just give you as a merchant even more access. You're not going to know all these di different attributes, but you're going to be able to sell using Google to use all these attributes. Is that over your head or how, how can I dumb that down more? No, it, it makes sense. It sounds as if, if I'm hearing you right, what they're going to be doing is rolling everything in together. And maybe if you were super specific marketer and really into Google, you could have been doing a little bit more with specific keywords and this and that. But that's not the majority of our audience. There might be a few of you out there. And I don't know for sure if you have to turn it on. We'll see. Maybe you know I don't. But I know it's a new feature, and we've talked about this almost every single platform across the board. When they're rolling out a new feature, they want to push it out and maximize the reach of it so they can get more data to find out, is this working good for people? They want you to be successful. When you're spending money on ads and you are successful, you're probably going to spend more money on ads. So when it's a win for you, it's a win for them. Yeah, Richie, I mean... First, back to the name, I have a hunch that they're, they built this product and then the marketing people had a lot of Red Bull inside of a conference room and then they just set it on Performance Max. So I love the name, <laughs> but really what it is, it's just, it's kind of a combination of the things you've either heard us talk about or you've played around with your account. Like it's a combination of smart shopping. So 
definitely need product feeds. I'll repeat that again. You must set up product feeds using a Merchant Center account. So you have to have that. So it feeds the products in, but then it, as you mentioned, it spreads it around all the Google properties, YouTube, Gmail, Google itself, Google Shopping, local maps, all basically anywhere Google is, you're going to see these, this new ad format. To you, it might just look like, or to the, the visitor or the user, it's just going to look like Google Shopping and Google Ads. I would say this is Google's next level of taking their AI and the decision making away from the actual advertiser themselves and just you throw all this data and content to Google and let Google find your customers for you. So you reference that some people might be a little upset, like they don't have certain control over a little bit of this or that. But at the end of the day, as an advertiser, if you get more sales for less money, you're going to be happy. So the goal of this podcast today is just to let you know that this is coming and give you some ways to prepare for it. So Richie, what do you think? Any more thoughts high level on this? Yeah, I would say at a high level, one thing that would be very important is we talk about making content all the time, whether it's blog posts, podcasts, like we're doing videos of packing in your company, you shipping things out, you making your product, using your product, user generated content, whatever kind of videos there are. Companies might have data points, but they don't necessarily know your product and your company like you do. So the one thing in addition to getting this set up would be making more videos, dialing in your descriptions, the headlines. Basically, you want to give Google as much data that you have on your company that they are going to be able to utilize. So I would say make more videos, make more content. So they have more to work with. I think if we could do a word cloud of all the previous podcasts ever and the, the amount of times we told people make videos or pick up your phone and make a video right now, that would be very like prominent inside. So we're going to say it again. You're going to have to pick up your phone and because this is YouTube, you're going to turn it on its side. You're going to push a button to record and you're going to make a video. You mentioned a couple. It can be the origin story. It can be a little bit about your products and why they're great. It can be a little bit of, here's the garage where I pack them up. It could literally be customer testimonials. It yeah. could be user-generated content. Here are my customers that use the product. Yeah, make some videos because here's the hidden thing with Performance Max. It definitely relies on video. If you don't make videos, Google's gonna automatically make them from your product photos. Are they going to be okay? Maybe it's probably going to be like a slideshow and sort of a moving picture of your existing products. Maybe that's okay, but I will just tell you, it won't be as good as you making a couple different videos, uploading the YouTube and linking them. Remember that this is going to be all Google AI generated. So it's going to test those. So the more videos you give it, the better, and maybe even the computer generated one will work. So. The tip here is, like we've said many, many times, make some videos, get them uploaded to YouTube. And I would just add in, you said it earlier, but just to reiterate, you're going to want to have your feed set up correctly to Google too, because your actual product feed is a huge part of this as well. Even your audience is, is going to be a huge piece of this. Remarketing, anything you want to say on that? Yeah, Rich. So I'll jump in on the audiences. That'll be the superpower from getting just a regular performance max campaign and then really taking this to the next level is if you're able to identify your audiences. Rich mentioned if you have a remarketing audience, usually the next level up that would be a similar audience. I won't go into detail, but you can set these up in the back end. You take all this intelligence, this smart shopping campaign essentially, and then you layer on audiences. Start thinking about the audiences that you're gonna target. Do the product feeds, of course, add some videos, and you're going to be well prepared for that. I would add, if you're excited about this right now and you're ready to do it, it's probably available in your campaign today. So you just go start a new campaign and look for Performance Max. And I'm not sure about the rollout schedule, by the way, so don't quote me on this one, but it's probably ready for you to play with right now. If you want to wait, that's fine. But from what we're hearing, the buzz on the street, things we're hearing from Google is 
this is working and they're going to transfer all campaigns, all smart shopping at some point to performance max. So you can't fight this. <laughs> There's no getting around it. Like at some point you're going to have to, your things are going to be migrated to this. So you're better off being proactive and doing it on your own and adding the videos. Uh, I mean, hopefully you're, you're catching that. This is coming. Don't just bury your head in the sand on this one. One last comment I would make on it, just reiterating a couple of things there. This is something they're moving towards. Movement and change is always happening in this space. Anyone who's been doing e-commerce for a while know change is pretty much a constant. And so take advantage of it. As we know more, we'll let you know more, whether that's via the blog, whether that's another podcast, whether education comes out. As we know more, we will let you know more. But this is one of those podcasts where we just want to keep you up to date when we hear more and we hear what's working, that we let you know what's working. Yeah, everybody. So if you're ready to do this, go into your campaign, look for Performance Max, start setting this up. Otherwise, record those videos. You can also use them for all the other platforms we talk about. So lastly, I know Clicken is aware of this. So if you're using the automated platforms, they're going to be ready for this too. I just wanted to get the jump on this. Give everybody the hot tip here, buzz from the street, and make sure you're ready for this. So everybody, get out there and make it happen. Goodbye, everyone. This is Jesse and Rich. We want to let you know we really appreciate you listening. We hope you find the tips we give you helpful for growing your business. You can find all of our past episodes and a lot more useful stuff at equi.com forward slash podcast. And also, check us out on your favorite podcasting platform like Apple Podcast or Stitcher. And make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing. Be sure to let us know what you think by rating and reviewing so we can serve you better. So subscribe on your favorite platform. And come join our community, check out the transcripts, or tell us why you would be a great guest at equid.com forward slash podcast.